I think the last Q&A video I did was at 500 subscribers. If you're interested in watching that, I'll leave a link down below in the description. But yeah, so I got to work. I sent out a post on Twitter, YouTube, and my Discord server to let you guys ask me pretty much anything. And well, I believe there are 30 plus questions. And some of them are pretty, well, interesting. So let's not waste any more time and, well, get right to it, shall we? We're gonna start off with Twitter, which if you want to follow me over there, by the way, there's a link down below in the description. But let's get to it. Do you play any other games than video games? And if so, what would be your favorite? I don't play board games that often, but when I do play other games than video games, I do like to play chess, uh, Stratego, Risk, like those kind of strategy games. There's another game as well. There's a game called Farlander as well, which I'm re a really big fan of as well. I'm also a really big fan of Monopoly, actually. I find that very fun. Uh, but yeah, those those are, I'd say, the main games that I play outside of uh, video games. Oh, this is a juicy one. If you could tell your younger self what thing, what would it be? It's a tough one, this one, because <clears throat> there, are, there would probably be things where I would say, don't do this or don't buy this, as an example, for example, or something like that, to either hint at something from happening or to steer myself in the right path. But, okay, let's let's take this example. Maybe a little bit of a bad example, but I recently swapped my uh, smartphone for a dumb phone. This one to be exact. I don't want to get into the details as to why right now, as I do want to actually cover that uh, in another video. Which, by the way, make sure you're subscribed for that so you don't miss it, because it's going to be a little bit of an interesting one. But, with this example, I could go back to my younger self and say, hey, don't ever get a smartphone. <laughs> but if I'd done that, I would never have had one. And I would never have gotten the experience of having one and what it's like to have one, which is what has resulted in me not wanting a smartphone now. Does that make sense? Maybe one thing I would say to myself is that it's one microphone to get. <laughs> because I've been through way too many microphones. But again, that has given me a valuable lesson. When I started YouTube, okay, time for a little bit of story here. When I, when I started YouTube, I was completely new to audio and video recording. And my dad and I spent so long as in way too long, figuring stuff out, researching, testing, frame rate, FPS, sound, microphone, all that stuff. Where it would have been very nice if we knew exactly what to do and what product to get. But again, because we went on that little adventure of going through things and researching and whatnot, I now have a very good understanding of how things work. And I can use that knowledge in the future, either for myself or by helping others who seek that knowledge. I hope that made sense. Uh, I had to think about this question for quite a long time <laughs> in order to make a good answer for it. All right, let's move to YouTube now. Do you have a long-term survival world and why or why not? I actually don't have a long-term survival world. Like, like I don't have a world back from when I started playing Minecraft in 1710 uh, all the way up to now. I don't have that. I have a few worlds from things I've done, but mainly I have worlds left from the series that I've made. So no, I wouldn't say I have a long-term survival world, and why not? I guess because I haven't really needed it, because I've been doing what I like doing with the series, so... Yeah, I guess, I guess that's that. Chicken strips. Never had them, but they look delicious. I have had chicken nuggets on the other hand. I like those. Is there anything you can do that you would consider a useless skill? Example, I can stop blinking for around 15 minutes? without any problem. Don't try that. <laughs> I wouldn't call that useless. I I can... Hmm. I, in some scenarios, I guess that could be useful. Ah, on a good day, I can imitate Darth Sidious' voice, sometimes Yoda's voice. I don't know, is that a useless skill? I guess that's, I guess that's a useless skill. No, I actually can't think of anything. <laughs> Are you really a bean? Some legends say it's true, and some say it's not. We may never know the answer to this question. What slash who first inspired you to do YouTube? This is a very interesting one. So, remember when I just talked about Minecraft 1.7.10? That is when I started to play Minecraft. I got the game in that version, but when I got the game, I had no idea how to play. So, I needed help. So, my dad went on YouTube and he found Paul Soros Jr. If you don't know who it is, he's basically the first one to ever upload Minecraft tutorial videos on YouTube. But anyway, my dad went on YouTube and he found his videos, his tutorials, uh, which I then watched. And by watching those, I would say that is probably my first proper time watching a YouTube video. And when I watched it, I was used to movies and 
series and whatnot. And when I watched, and when I saw that, I found it very interesting. And something just kind of switched, and I thought, you know what? I want to make videos too. <laughs> I want to make tutorial videos and let's play videos as well. And well, that kind of sent me down this path. So what first inspired me to do YouTube? Minecraft, I suppose. And who? Paul Source Jr. What is the history of your channel? That's a very good video idea. I think I'm gonna save this one for a video that I think I'm gonna do here in February because in February it will be four years ago since I uploaded my very first video and I think it would be very interesting to go back on the channel and kind of look from where it started to where it is now. So I think I'm gonna save that for that video. So make sure you're subscribed if you're interested to see that. How did you meet Chaster? or any of the other people that you play with? That's a very interesting question. I met a lot of people throughout my time on YouTube. The first time was actually when I got invited to another group called Royal Legion, where we ended up doing a ultra hardcore series and we also ended up doing an SMP. Uh, and from that group, I still have contact to one, two, three, four, four, about four, four of the people from back then, which I still talk to to this day. And then later after that, uh, Hudlin from Ramblecraft Season 1 invited me to, well, Ramblecraft, and that is when I met Beastly, Chase, Chemistic, all these guys from Ramblecraft. There are, of course, other people outside of the SAPs that I've met and that I still play with to this day, which I've actually also met at one point or another through YouTube. So, yeah, that's how I met Chase and a bunch of the other people I know. Do you have any deleted old videos? And if so, what were they about? Let's take a look. That, that, this would actually be kind of fun. All right, so here we are on my channel and I'm in my video section with the visibility filter set to just private videos. And I actually only have four private videos. The first one at the top, winning every possible game mode on Hypixel Bed Wars, is actually a video that I made with Chemistic, aka why he's in the thumbnail, um, but I just never got to release it. It's a good video. I watched it through actually the other day when I looked at what private videos I had. And yeah, it's just a video that I actually never released. I could release it to this day and I think I might. Um, but yeah, it was a cool up video that we did. And yeah, I just never got to release it. So that's why that's there. These two Hypixel Skyblock videos, they're old. I made them and I uploaded them, but again, I never got to release them. And when it got to the time where I wanted to pick up back up on Hypixel Skyblock, it got to the point where I wanted to kind of start over, and so I didn't I didn't really need them anymore. So that's why they stay private. And this one playing some high pixel bit was solos. It was out, as you can see, it has 43, it has 43 views. When was this video made? May 13th, 2019. Three years ago. Well, two and a half years ago, ish. This one, there was an editing mistake in it, so I privatized it. I could have used the YouTube uh, studio thing to cut that piece out which needed to be cut but i didn't i think i don't even think i thought about that i could have done that and made it public after that but i just didn't think about it and those are actually the only private videos that i have on the channel and myself big again did you ever wanted to quit youtube that could be a title if i wanted to short answer is no i love making that's a very good title actually short answer is no i love making content and making videos that you guys can watch and enjoy, like this one. And I don't see myself stopping, to be completely honest, unless something were to happen where I would absolutely have no time to upload or do anything. I love the content making process and yeah, I can't wait to keep going and see where this journey leads us. Any pet that you would like to show us? Certainly. I've talked about that I have cats and pets for a very long time, but I've never actually shown them. So come on, come on, let's let me introduce you. What inspired you to do YouTube? Kind of the same question as earlier, but basically, to put it simply, 
Minecraft because I started playing that and I needed tutorials. So I started watching Paul Source Jr. play the game. And when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I want to do that too. And here I am, pineapple on pizza. Never tasted it, but no. <laughs> pineapple belongs in a fruit salad and as a fruit. It does not belong on pizza. It doesn't even look that delicious. I'm sorry if you're a fan of this, but no, just no. Are you planning anything for the community in the future? I definitely want to do more with the community in the future. I do want at some point to set up a Minecraft server that you guys can come and play on. I just don't have the time at the moment uh, to see that through. Plus I don't want to rush in. I want to actually make it something special, something unique. I would also like to do some maybe events, maybe some contests in the Discord server or something like that. Again, I just need to think of something to do and have the time for it. But overall, yes, I definitely do want to do more with the community in the future. Have you ever used shaders before? And if so, what is your favorite? This is actually an interesting question. I have used shaders before, but I have a hard time picking what shader I really like. Either the Either it's too bright or it's too dark or it's too blurry or the shadows look weird. I haven't, I don't think I've found my favorite shader yet. I'll show you my list of shaders on screen right now with the ones that I have in my shader pack folder. But I don't know, complementary shaders is probably maybe one of my favorite out of the bunch. Silver shaders are good as well, but I feel like sometimes they can be a bit too dark, but that might just be me. But yeah. The complementary shaders might be my favorite one out of the ones that I have so far. If you have any shader suggestions that you don't see in this folder, by the way, please don't let me know and feel free to leave links as well. I will make sure YouTube doesn't uh, doesn't remove them. <laughs> will you ever sleep? No. Actual question. Do you like memes about your content? I do, yes. And if you make memes or make it say clips or something like that out of funny, funny moments, you can share them in my Discord server. But I actually also have a Reddit page if you're interested in that. You can post them down there and maybe if we start getting enough Reddit posts, maybe I can start doing some videos over there if you're interested in that. Who knows? Do you have a goal for your channel's future or are you at a point where you're satisfied with it? I don't really have a goal to be honest. I'm kind of just doing stuff that I enjoy making. Have you played Pokemon in the past? Slash, do you think you will ever want to do a Pokemon video or keep to Minecraft slash Terraria content? I've actually never played Pokemon. I know it's a very popular game. I have seen a lot about it. I've watched the Pokemon movie, which I really did enjoy, but the game has just never really spoke to me. It has never caught my attention. Like, like I've never found it very interesting. Uh, so would I want to do Pokemon videos in it? Probably not, because I don't think I would enjoy the game. I would probably find it a little bit boring. I can understand why people love it so much. Don't get me wrong, I can completely understand it. I just don't think it's for me. Regarding to the part though, or keep to Minecraft slash Terraria content, I am going to expand this channel a little bit. I'm still going to do Minecraft, obviously. That's not going to go away. But I am going to introduce other games to this channel that kind of fit the same theme. So games like Terraria, Unturned... Uh, farming simulator which I've already started uploading which you might have noticed and games like that and then my second channel Binary Piclanti is going to be for more for the FPS like Call of Duty games like that so if you're interested in that go ahead and subscribe to that one again link down below in the description uh, but yeah that's kind of my channel update so thanks for asking that what is your real name just first name no last name my real name is actually my real name is actually Joseph if you didn't know so there you go. Despite of all the stuff you face in your life, what are you glad about having in the end of it? By the way, th this guy is one of my friends that I didn't meet through an SMP, like we talked about earlier. And this question, it kind of connects to the question Chase asked on Twitter, where my answer is the knowledge that I have and the experience that I've gotten at the end of it. I've actually thought many times, again, we're kind of connected to the question Chase asked earlier in the Twitter on Twitter. I've actually thought many times of going back to myself, like my younger self, and guiding myself in something, but I've come to the conclusion that I wouldn't want to do it, because if I did that, I wouldn't have gotten in that situation that has shaped me or given me the experience that it did. Experience and knowledge that I might be able to use later in my life, or that I can use to help and guide others. What if your server or YouTube channel would be deleted? I would be very, very sad if it all got deleted, because there are a lot of memories and hard work here, both on the channel and in the Discord server. In the events that did happen though, I wouldn't hesitate to contact Team YouTube over on Twitter. They have a great support team over there, and they've helped me before. So if you ever experience something like that, that's a place I can highly suggest you go to help regarding YouTube. And of course, in general, stay safe online, have a good and strong password, enable two-factor authentication when you can, and don't share your login information.
Not a question, but subscribe to Binary Vigilante. I agree, you should. Are you planning to do more Minecraft manhunts? And if so, with who? I'm asking because I want to be in a manhunt. Law. <laughs> Well, I don't really enjoy manhunts, to be quite honest with you. I don't consider myself very good at speedrunning the game. Uh, putting one or more hunters behind me is uh, not going to help either. Uh, they, they can be fun to play, don't get me wrong, but I just don't think that manhunts videos are the thing for me. Maybe if I get an idea or something in the future, maybe I'll do it. And it would be interesting to get fans involved as well, so it's not just people I know, it is you guys hunting me down. But overall, manhunt videos, unless I think of something interesting to do, I probably won't make more of them. If you had a choice between your friends and people in your Discord server, to promote your Discord server, actually, very good idea. If you want to join my Discord server, link down below in the description. Who would make your top 10? I wouldn't be able to make a top 10 because everyone is special in their own way. The mods for keeping the server a nice place to be, the supporters on Patreon and YouTube members who support what I do, and the overall members of the Discord server who makes the Discord, an awesome place to be. Have you ate an Oreo yet? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> Do you want to travel to Hungary? That's a very interesting question. Overall, I would like to travel to many places in the world to see, like, pyramids of the Great Canyon and stuff like that, but also just in, just in general, not just to those big places, but also to other places, to experience all the different kind of cultures, all the nat different natures and all the foods and, like, all that kind of stuff. And also some of the Places look pretty amazing over there, so yeah, yeah, it would. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis? The wise. I don't know why I did that wise in a weird voice. But yes, yes, I have heard of it. Such tragic. <sighs> Such power wasted. What is the reason as to why you believe fabric is better than forge? I am just curious. All right, I actually want to make a separate video about this topic because I want to talk more about it. Really quickly, I like fabric because it's new. It's new, it's more optimized, it gives better performance, and it's more lightweight than Forge. At the beginning, I wasn't happy because I felt like it split the modding community or the modding scene. But after some time, I actually enjoy the modding scene, the fabric modding scene better. Fabric, I feel like, has given us the chance of a fresh start with new mods and new ideas to be created where I feel like on Forge, we're mainly just stuck with the same ones we have had for ages. No disrespect, by the way, to any of the Forge mods or the, the Forge mod creators. I love some of the mods. Absolutely love them, but I, what I mean is it gives us something new and a possibility for new things to rise. I haven't made mods myself, but I have also seen people saying the modding community is less toxic on fabric, which should always be a factor, of course, so that's that. So yeah, those are some of the reasons why I like fabric mod loading better. But anyways, that's gonna make it for this video. Really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have a question that you didn't get answered, well, I'll probably do more Q&As in the future. It would be fun to do a yearly one, actually. Maybe I'll start doing that. We shall see. Anyways, hope you really enjoyed it. Again, links to everything will be down in the description, as well as this very lovely hoodie. If you want to get something like this, some binary to to merch, maybe you want a, a t-shirt or something like that, you can get that down below in the description or go to binaryvigilante.com slash merch. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.